of Anjuman Islam Sikh Alana Sikhani School, Kurla. We all are here to discuss the topic Benefits to the Humankind through Biotechnology. <coughs> Biotechnology is the use of living systems systems to develop or make useful products. Any technological application that uses biological systems, living organisms or derivatives thereof, or modified products as assesses for specific use. This is biotechnology. We all know that biotechnology is used in plants. So, one of my will be a video, uh, a demo about biotechnology plants. Experiment based on biotechnology. First, I break these stems into two parts. Earlier, we can't join these stems. After the invention of biotechnology, we can the stems. This is one of the method of plant tissue culture known as grafting. Let's see one video based on plant tissue culture. Grafting and grafting are the improved methods of natural vegetation propagation in plants. In 1902, G. Haberlam noticed that the plant cells can be grown in synthetic medium. The discovery by Haverland that the plant cells have the capacity to grow in a unique medium in presence of sufficient light made an impact in plant propagation and crop movement. The ability of a plant cell to give rise to a whole plant is called sortipotency. The cell tissue culture techniques have taken methods of asexual reproduction in plants. In this method, Instead of taking cuttings from a plant, a few cells or a tissue is taken from a plant and cultured in suitable containers in which nutrient medium is present. The portion of the plant that is taken as the desired plant is referred as explant. By this method, thousands of can be produced from a single desirable parent in one generation. These require maintenance of sterile conditions in the bee. The explant needs to be sterilized which is introduced into the medium. The medium is kept free from bacteria and fungi. Cells or tissues are grown in culture under a set-like condition. In the tissue culture, the explant often divides to give rise to an unorganized massive tissue called callus. The callus or the explant it will undergo differentiation into roots, shoots or embryo-like structures is called embryos. This differentiation is dependent on the concentration and combination of the plant's growth substances like auxins, cyanins, gibberellins, etc. In the medium, plants raise through cultures are routinely used in agriculture, horticulture, and forestry. We use a deployed explant. We get a deployed plant like in any other vegetative propagation methods. Similarly, if we want to develop a haploid plant, it is possible to obtain it through tissue culture. Development of haploid plants through tissue culture was discovered by Indian scientists Shipra Guha and Satish Maheshwari. As the video suggests that biotechnology is not only used in plants, it is also used in animals. We have the example of Dolly the sheep. Well, by the way, have you ever taken a horse ride? Yes, yes, I love riding horses. I remember when I was small, I had gone to Mahabharata with my family. I was so excited to ride, but all excitement went flying off when I saw a huge horse. So huge, and I was so scared. But then I saw a little hini. 
a hini which is the product of a horse and a she donkey. They are beautiful. Indeed, and all children love the hinis. It fulfilled my dream of riding a horse and I enjoyed it a lot. It is do you know this is also possible because of biotechnology? Let me know. Now let us watch a small video. Why do you think have you seen this video in between a seminar? It's simple. Years ago, it was not simple to have eggs every Sunday and Monday. But today, it is possible to have eggs every day just because of biotechnology. Yes, and earlier we had items occasionally like weddings and parties. But now, we can relish chicken items when and where we want technology. I have one more video for you. What is the industry doing over here? Let us not talk about eggs and chickens, but talk about human beings. Entertainment industry is the place all new inventions are being done practice. Friend, have you ever seen this person? Of course, you must have. He is the superstar, Mr. Amir Khan. Do you know, even he had benefited from technology. Can you tell any other superstar who had benefited from biotechnology? Yes, my friend, I can. He is none other than Shah Rukh Khan. Do you know how have they got benefits from biotechnology? These famous Bollywood actors have become fathers of sons using biotechnology and so their mother, wives have become mothers through biotechnology. But how are they produced? They are not produced by the natural method but with the help of biotechnology. The genes of the child is as similar as the parents so the features of the child is as similar as the parent too. Now let us ask the respective family members about their views on biotechnology. Oh, I see, oh, I see. Hey, I am Mrs. Kiran Majumdar Shaw. I am the Managing Director of Biotechnology Institute in Bangalore, India. Biotechnology has been used from 6000 years ago for many interesting practical purposes such as making foods like cheese, bread, preserving dairy products and fermenting beer. Although we do not realize it, but the technology is a huge part of our everyday life. From the clothes we wear, how we wash them, the food we eat, the clothes it had come from, and the medicines we use to keep us healthy, and the fuel we use to transport us from one place to another. No other industry can better place to enhance the quality of life and to, the res and to respond to society's grand challenges like ever-increasing populations, energy efficiencies, energy shortage, and climatic conditions. From the new better medical to cure epidemics and rare diseases, 
to the industrial process that use renewable feedstock instead of using crude oil to have a lower impact on environment. So it means that biotechnology is everywhere, from the society to the environment and environmental economical dividends. So biotechnology is and must continue to play an important role in our everyday life. Thank you. I am Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Let me share my views about biotechnology in agriculture. Agricultural biotechnology has delivered products that could significantly transform food production and consumption in the next million. At the same time, genetically engineered foods are attracting considerable attention and concerns among consumers and environmentalists. The purpose of this paper is to assess the farm level risks associated with adoption of biotech crops and non biotech crop producers. The long term opportunities and uncertainties for biotechnology. For example, a few grain handlers have begun to segregate their biotech from non biotech commodities for non biotech niche markets. Thank you. Hi, I am Dr. Marshall Kar, giving my views on biotechnology. Biotechnology is the use of living system and organism to develop or make useful products or any technologies application that uses biological system. Depending on the tools and application, it offers overrelated bioengineering and biomedical engineering. Thank you. As we have studied from the and the experiments and the demos that biotechnology is used in plants, animals, we use biotechnology without even realizing it. We use it every day in our life. And ultimately, we human beings are benefited from it. A big thanks. What?